Sierra has been getting absolutely buried by snow. You can check out the scenes in Lake Tahoe. The whole area has been dealing with blizzard warnings and major highways like I-80 being shut down. Nevertheless, Kelsey Thord has been up in the mountains getting snowed in herself, and she's live now from Truckee. Hey, Kelsey. Hey, Brian. Yeah, we're right here. We're actually in the parking lot of our hotel because we were nervous about getting out today because the snow has been coming down. And I'll tell you exactly why we were worried about leaving. This is the entrance to our hotel. There are two cars currently stuck just trying to get back in. So that just tells you the amount of snow that's been falling here all day. This big kind of pile of snow here. This is all the snow that the snow plows have just been pushing off the road constantly throughout the day. And we just continue to see more and more snow coming down. Now, this is the day that we've been talking about for the past couple of days when all this snow starts to come. This is the day that people have been told to stay in. Thankfully, for the most part, people are staying in their homes. We caught up with a few people earlier today that were really just doing their best to shovel their front doors and cars to make it easier when this whole thing ends. Thousands of people in the Sierra woke up Saturday morning to find their front doors and cars buried under feet of snow. I had to get my shovel out of the car, which is interesting because it's up to your waist and I had to dig out my um, my door to even get the shovel out. Look at my car. <laughs> Cody Richardson didn't even attempt to shovel out his car. He's only in town visiting and wasn't expecting this. I'm from St. Thomas, so that's this is what happening right now. I don't know. The storm dumped snow overnight and continued to pummel the area throughout the day forcing people to do all they could just to keep up. Yeah, this is once in a lifetime for us to be in this blizzard. It's kind of kind of crazy. Spencer Payne spent the morning shoveling out his car, but in the end, the snow was just too much. We're pretty bummed because our friends, Kelsey and Soren Oaks, shout out to them. We were supposed to go to their wedding today and we're snowed in. The people that were able to get out didn't even attempt to drive. Max Marlowe strapped on his skis to get to his job at a local brewery. My car's got really low clearance, so I probably would get stuck on the way back. So I just figured skinning might be the easiest way to do it. But for the most part, people just stayed home, clearing off their drives every once in a while to make getting around a little easier, but then going back inside to wait out this storm from the comfort and safety of their homes. There's no reason to go anywhere until the storm is over. You know, hopefully you knew it was coming and you're prepared, uh, but it's, it's, this is just the middle of it. And he's right, this really is just the middle of it. You know, we're expecting snow into the night here. And you can see, these are some of the cars that those folks were shoveling out this afternoon. And there's already a ton of snow on top of them. I'm just gonna walk back here to show you how much snow. So this is an area where someone was parked. They're no longer here. This is how high the snow is. I'm 5'8", so that's about five feet of snow just right there, Brian. So this is an intense storm and it's not over. We're still expecting a lot more snow going into the night and into tomorrow. Well, all right, there you are. Darkness is gathering, snow is coming down. You're trapped in the parking lot. I mean, as a practical matter, what are you and Jim gonna do for dinner tonight? <laughs> well, you know, Truckee is, um, you know, no stranger to snow. So the, actually a lot of the restaurants downtown are still open. It's just figuring out how to get that food from the restaurants downtown to our hotel here. We yeah. were talking to the hotel staff and they were saying that there's actually a taxi, taxi service around here that's running. So we may try and get them to deliver maybe a pizza to us later. We'll see. I don't know. <laughs> I wish it's, you luck. It's definitely rough out here, though. You need something air Thanks. drop. Let us know. In Truckee, that's Kelsey Thorne. Kelsey, <laughs> thanks so much. Kelsey and her photographer, Jim, will not be heading back to the Bay Area anytime soon. As you just heard, I-80 is completely shut down. Chains are required on Highway 50.